Inc, Forbes, Entrepreneur, Huffington Post, guest posting. Do you think it's really worth it? You know what, if you do, just leave a comment with yes. If you don't, leave a comment with no. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today, I'm gonna share with you what I've learned from over a thousand guest posts. That's right, I've written over a thousand guest posts. Yes, it hasn't happened over the last years, many, many years of building it up, but I've written literally over a thousand blog posts just in English. If you combine Portuguese and Spanish and other languages and German, I've probably written over 2,000 guest posts. That's a shit ton of content. Is it really worth it? I don't do it anymore, so you're probably like, no. But you know what, I'll actually tell you the answer, and it's a bit more complicated than just a yes or no answer. Now first off, if you're in the B to C niche, if you're out there selling dog shoes, I don't know what you would be selling, but let's say B to C niche, dog shoes or dog leashes or pick anything out there, chances are guest posting is not worth it. Because the amount of traffic that you can get from these sites and the amount of business it generates for the consumer niche is so small, you will not generate enough revenue. But on the flip side, for B2B, it is worth it in which you can make a shit ton of money. I'm talking about millions of dollars. And I, I can even give you an example of how I've done well through guest posting, but it's not what you think in which you can't just release a guest post or two guest posts and do well. See, when I started guest posting, I would write one or two articles a week and I'd be like, oh, okay, I'm gonna write on Entrepreneur, Forbes, Inc. And you know what? I'm gonna get a shitload of business and people hitting me up for marketing advice and consulting. And guess how much business I drummed up from it? Little to none. But after doing it for a year or two, what happened to all my articles on Entrepreneur and Inc. and Forbes about social media marketing and SEO and link building and digital marketing? They started to rank on Google. These articles started getting a ton of traction. And I wasn't doing anything, just over time they naturally rank. Businesses would be like, oh I read this article by Neil. Let's hit him up, let's see what he does. And I'll get business contracts from it. I wasn't getting contracts that were like, hey I'll pay you a thousand bucks. Sure those leads would come in but I was getting some six figure contracts. And it was amazing, all because of all my guest posts out there. But when people talk about guest posting, they're like, yeah, you guest post, you're gonna get business? No, they're full of shit. I've done more than most people. I had a team who helped me manage my whole guest posting scheduling. I had editors who helped me out, right? Just because I'm writing the articles doesn't mean I could edit them fast enough, add images. I was going at one point where I was doing one guest post per day, seven days a week. And there were short articles, I streamlined it down to like 700 word articles or a thousand word, and I would just crank them out left and right, and some of the topics were regurgitated, in which I would publish similar articles on Entrepreneur as I did on Forbes. I didn't care, it wasn't duplicate content, I would rewrite it, make it unique enough, but I was doing it so I can do quantity. And what ended up happening is, after a year or two, it drummed up business, but in the short run, it was a big time sink and a money loss. And here's the thing with guest posting. When I got started in it, the times were amazing, and everyone's like, oh, I'm gonna guest post on Entrepreneur Inc. so I can build links and get higher rankings on Google. You think this $700 billion company doesn't know what you're doing? You think they're that dumb where they can't stop at it? Those links don't really help you that much. Instead, and even these blogs and these publishers, they're no following these days. But instead, you should be doing it to build an authority, a name for yourself, and drum up business. If you don't do it in the long run, you're not gonna do well. And that's why I'm telling you, if you're gonna guest post, you gotta do it for at least two years, after the first year, you'll start seeing some results. After two years, you'll dominate and you'll start getting business. And you can actually generate a seven figure business from it. My buddy Jason from Audience Bloom, he guest posts everywhere. It's a seven figure business, not just in what you can potentially sell the business for, but I'm talking about revenue. How does he get all of his business? Guest posting. And all he did was write articles about marketing. It's worked for me, it's worked for him, and it's worked for tons of other people. My buddy Nada from Inbound Junction, he's built up a seven figure business as well from guest posting. It's not about selling links or anything like that. You build a business by becoming authority in your space. Heck, I get speaking engagements because people are like, oh, I read your article on Content Marketing Institute. Can you come to our company here in Dubai and speak? We'll give you 20 grand for the hour. All because of guest posting, it's priceless. If you wanna do it, do it, but do it for two straight years. You wanna give up after that? That's okay, there's already a, you know, five, 600 articles out there on the web, and you have to do at least five articles a week. Doing a few here and there doesn't do shit. It's hit or miss. Some articles do well, some don't. So follow those strategies and you'll 
create a shitload of income from guest posting, assuming you're in B2B. If you're in B2C, don't waste your time. If you're not sure what kind of articles to write when it comes to guest posting, leave a comment below and I'll give you some advice. Best of luck with your guest posting.